a name synonymous with stage, be it theatre, films or serials. He ascended the stage at the age of 7 and looks back at his long journey at the age of 74. Mr. Ramaya Neelakantan has been passionate about cricket ever since his boyhood days in Triplican. As a toddler, he moved to Madras with his family from Kerala and has a host of memories of playing cricket with his friends on crowded streets with a soft ball and three charcoal lines on a wall that acted as the stumps. But Neelu, as Mr. Neelakantan is fondly called, has one particularly exciting cricket memory. This happened when he was about 10 years old and witnessed a test match at the MH Epoch Stadium. India was batting in the second innings. They had to score about four runs to uh, get a victory. So at the time, uh, there was a dashing opener by name uh, Mushtakali. He got injured and then people thought that he will not come back because the doctors uh, ruled him out because he had got a fracture in one of the fingers. But when the situation wanted that uh, one more wicket is necessary and also four runs are required, then Mustakali appeared. So suddenly the bowler came and then he bowled. But what a courage he had with one finger, with one hand, with an injured finger, he held the bat and then struck the ball. It went like a bullet and crossed the boundary line. Memories of witnessing league matches, meeting various legends from the cricket world and standing in a crowd across from the Kasturi Towers on Ellis Road, eyes fixed on the scoreboard which the Hindu used to put out during matches, are all memories that bring a nostalgic smile to Neelu's face. It was around the same time that Neelu met his first love, theatre. In fact, he says that his days at the Hindu school on Big Street gave him a solid foundation in drama and theatre. And from then on, Neelu fell more and more in love with theatre. He got opportunities to perform in plays with his Boy Scout group. He also had the privilege of watching the works of different amateur groups as well as many renowned professionals like Nawab Rajamani Kumpile. And each play left Neelu hungry for more. When I approached my father, he said, I don't have money now. You do whatever you I, I can't give you money, extra money for the witness in place. In those days, my mother, she used to keep changes in the bottles where we have pepper, salt and then they mix coins with that. So I know where my mother used to keep the money there. So without her knowledge also, I used to go to the kitchen and just open one of the bottles and then collect whatever changes that are available and then use it for freeing dramas. Once out of college, Neelu and his friends formed their own drama troupe, the Viveka Fine Arts Club, where along with many other theatre personalities like Cho Ramaswamy, they performed at different halls and sabhas across the city. From then on, Neelu's memories are solely of performances with Madras as his stage. About 15-20 years back, there were a lot of sabhas like Triplicane Fine Arts Academy, Thiruvitishar Sabha, Narada Gana Sabha, Mailapur Fine Arts Club, Rasikarajani Sabha, and then see Krita Gana Sabha, Tyaga Burma Gana Sabha. They are all very prominent uh, Sabhas in Madras. You know, most of our plays, all of written by Cho, we used to inaugurate only at Mailapur Fine Arts Club. Program, uh, by the time Music Academy has come, they used to have the program in Music Academy. And then Wadi Mahal, this is one of the important places in Trinagar. Those days, in Egmore, Museum Theatre is one of the biggest, nice auditorium, even today one of the best auditoriums. In 1966, Neelu was given the opportunity of taking his acting skills to another level, the silver screen. His association with Madras's filmdom grew stronger with each project, and he has many memories of working with some of the best directors and actors, both in recent times and yesteryears. <laughs> Despite his success, he still continued to work at his trading company, VD Swami, and always managed to strike a balance between the two. Shivaji Ganeshan, I remember very well, for one particular picture with whom I acted, 
a picture called Parichi ki Nairamache. So I told the director, Mr. Srinivasan, Sir, at 11 o'clock, I got an important meeting. So Shivaji Ganeshan also told about this. At the moment I stepped in and then Shivaji asked me, I don't office to go to the office. I'm going to So accordingly, the shooting commenced from about 7.30. At the stroke of 10.30, my role was over and then I came to office. Today too, Nilu continues to act on stage and on screen. Theatre and acting have become a constant in his life. And yet there have been changes. Roles have changed, audiences have changed, stages and venues have changed too. Much like the city they all live in, which is a mixed bag of the everlasting and the ever-changing. But Nilu laughingly states that in all his 70 years of living in Madras City, one thing has always remained the same. Poom and Buckingham Canal are the same. As far as I know, if at all, it has gone worse. Nilu's sense of humour is also a constant. I think that comes from the theatre group he belongs to, Crazy Creations. Coming up, some interesting men glamorous women and cool machines.